you're here already. Great, let's get started. Have you thought about how tall a ferry is and how much of it is above the waterline compared to how much is under the waterline? I mean, how does she keep her balance? Hmm? Let's ask Lily. Lily? Hello, Sigurd. Hello, Lily. So, can you help us and explain to us how does it work? Have you heard about the Royal Ship Vasa? Yes, but she sank. Yes, she did. In fact, it's a little bit embarrassing as a Swedish naval architect that our most well-known ship only sailed a few hundred meters before she sank. But you know, since then, our methods for calculating stability have come a long way. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. But, but why did Vasa sink? There are several reasons, but the main one was that she was dangerously unstable. She was too narrow and top-heavy with too much weight in the upper structure of the hull. Okay. And to make matters worse, the king ordered an additional gun deck <laughs> that uh, made her even more unstable. And you see, now here we have a modern ferry. The shape of the hull has been improved quite a lot. So Vasa, she had uh, the center of gravity located too high up. Okay, so what you're saying is the lower center of gravity could have saved her? Yes, in combination with a wider hull. Mm -hmm. So are you saying that a narrow hull would have been a problem? Why? Because, let me, let me show you. Uh, can you please uh, stand with your feet close together? Like this? Now, Sigurd. You are Vasa. I am. And I'm the wind. Uh, okay. Okay, let's try this again. Can you please uh, stand with your legs uh, further apart? Like this? Exactly. So, now I'm the wind again. You see the difference? Yes. Wow, fantastic. So what you're saying is that if a ship has a wider hull, she's more stable? Yes. Mm, but I still don't understand the center of gravity thing. You know what? I think it's time for an experiment. Suit up, let's get going. Okay, so here's Sigurd. Here is your center of gravity. So you are ready? Perfect. Let's try this in real life. Now we see Sigurd sitting down in the boat with a low center of gravity. And he is uh, quite stable. Now I will ask him to stand up. Sigurd! Can you please stand up? And now his uh, center of gravity moves upwards and is more like the Vasa ship. Uh, not uh, as stable, so um, that's why we tell our children to sit down in the boat. So, in conclusion, the key to everything here is that if the hull is too narrow, bad, wide, good. Center of gravity shouldn't be too high, it should be quite low. It's all really quite simple. Yeah, but you know, this is just a part of the impact stability. We also have the damage stability. And you know, these days we even have so good stability that we could damage two compartments and water can be flowing into the ship and we still stay afloat. And this is the point. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and we're looking forward to your comments. And don't forget to subscribe with a Metacentric